what's up y'all, it's Zipitron here, and today I'm going to show you how to port forward your Minecraft server that we created in the previous video. If you have not seen that yet, click on the iCard or click on the first link in the description. So something that I forgot to tell you at the end of the last video is how to stop your server safely. So what you're going to want to do is that if you're opt, type in slash stop, or if you have access to console, you can type in stop here. So you might be a little skeptical, but like, hey, why? Well, what if my stuff isn't saved? Well, you can do save dash all to save everything, and you can see that it's to save the game, and then type stop, and then the server will be stopped, and the console will close itself. So now, how to port forward your Minecraft server. First, open up your command prompt, type in CMD, and right click this and run your command prompt as administrator. If you do not run it as administrator, it will not work. So what you're going to do is type in ipconfig, and you'll see we got this. So what you're going to look at is Ethernet Adapter Ethernet. If you do not have this or you're connected to the internet with Wi-Fi, you're going to want to look for Wireless LAN Adapter. So we're going to be looking for this default gateway and make sure it's underneath Ethernet Adapter Ethernet or Wireless LAN Adapter because you'll also have default gateway under some other stuff. So we're going to want to copy this and then open up our internet browser. And then I'm going to go paste this here. And then it's going to ask you for a username and password. So if you don't know what your router username and password is, click on the second link in the description. It will take you to routerpasswords.com. And basically, look for your router manufacturer. So what we're going to do, let's just do Omron. And let's see here. So let's say I have an Omron router. Do that. We're going to find the password. It has no username, no password. Then I won't have to fill in anything here. And again, these this is just the username and password that is default. If you have changed this, uh, which most likely you haven't, you'll have to enter that stuff. But if you have, like, I don't know what it is, most likely because you haven't changed it yet. So you do that. So you type in the username and password. So I'm going to type in my stuff here. And there we go. And I'm going to do sign in. So now we are on the web page for... We're on the web page for my router. You'll be on the web page for your router. It won't be Netgear Genie if you have a Netgear one. Cool. That means we're on the same page. So what we're going to have to look for is something that says, I believe, port forwarding or port triggering. So with the Netgear Genie page, all you have to do is go to advanced, go to advanced setup, and then port forwarding slash port triggering. Most likely that it'll not be this simple for you. Most likely you're going to have to go around stuff and try to find port forwarding and most likely be in advance because it's not a simple setting. Uh, but now we're going to do, uh, let's see, we're going to add a custom service. So here basically we're making it so that you can make your computer's IP address public to everybody else. So, but don't worry if people don't already know your IP address, nobody will be able to see it uh, otherwise or if they specifically try to connect to it. Like if somebody was just trying to connect to your Minecraft server. If somebody is like, hey, I wonder who port forwarded their computer, they, they won't be able to see that. So we're going to be choosing our service name. It doesn't matter what it is called. We're just going to call this Minecraft Server and Protocol. So you're going to want to make sure this is TCP slash UDP. If you only have a TCP or you can only choose TCP or UDP, make two different instances, one for TCP, one for UDP. So now we're going to be looking for the port range. So if it only gives you one, then we're going to only type in 25565. Uh, but if you have something like this where it asks for a second one, also type in 25565. But we're going to check this because both ports are going to be the same. So now we're going to look for the internal IP address. Most likely you won't have a link down here or like a list down here for all the computers. So you're going to have to go back to your uh, command prompt. And you see here my IPv4 address is 192.168.1.9. So you see here we have desktop. And then we're going to choose the IP address here. So we want all you need is your service uh, service name protocol, which is TCP slash UDP. Again, if you can only choose either or, then you'll have to create two. Make sure the port is 25565. If you need to type in two, have both of them 25565. Your internal IP address. This is your computer IP address that we saw in here. And there we go. And now we're going to click apply. So I've already port forwarded this, so I can just press cancel here. And that's about it. So now you're like, okay, so do people just type in that internal IP address or what do we do? So what you have to do is go to ipchicken.com. You're like, why would we go here? Well, this is how we see our public IP address. So it's going to be blurred out for you guys. But basically in this box right around here, you'll, 
you'll see your public IP address, and this is gonna be the IP address that people connect to you with. So if you just try to do it here, it's not gonna work, but make sure you give this IP address to whoever's gonna be joining the server. So now we're gonna be going to our Minecraft server and going to server.properties. I forgot to open this up before. And we're gonna be going back into our command prompt and looking for our IPv4 address and we're gonna be copying that. And we're gonna be placing that in server IP. So just like what we did in our router, server IP, this is 192.168.1.9 or whatever your computer internal IP address is and the server port, which is 25565. We're gonna save this and close this. Most likely that'll just open up a notepad. If you don't have notepad plus plus, don't worry about it. So now I think we're about done. So now if I think we can close this. We're gonna do our run.bat and have this load. So if you did all of the steps that I showed you and people still cannot connect to it, restart your router, basically turn it off, turn it back on, unplug it, replug it back in, whatever you need to do to make sure that the whole thing's reset and everything will work. So we're gonna go in here and instead of connecting with localhost like that time, we're gonna be connecting with our uh, internal IP address, which I have copied, 192.168.1.9. And again, if you are not connecting to the server, if you're connecting to the server and you're not the host of it, see, I'm the host because I have the console on my computer. If you are not on the same computer uh, as the server, you will have to connect with the public IP address coming from IP Chicken. So now we're gonna click on join server. And if I did this correctly, this will work. Awesome. Let's see. Is this gonna load? I hope so. I don't know why I wouldn't. And here we go. Nothing should be different, but if people want to connect to your server, just give them that public IP address from IP Chicken. And that's about it. So guys, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, put that in the comment section below. I really want to hear your guys' feedback if you want to see more of this tutorial series, or you're just like, uh, I don't want this, I want some fun gaming stuff. Well, go on and tell me. And soon my ZippyCraft Minecraft server is going to be getting an update to one, uh, not 1.14, I mean it will be once that comes out, but it will be getting a, a new overhaul at zippycraft.skyno.host. If you wanna be like, hey, I wanna help out somehow, well, go to my Discord server in the description, and if you go to the announcements uh, uh, text channel, you'll see that we have an announcement for beta signup and staff applications if you wanna do that. But yeah, that's about it. So guys, if you did like this video, please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.